Hey guys, welcome to the next Critique the Community. Today we're going to be critiquing images of high school seniors. However, there was a lot of confusion. You know, we have a lot of uh, fans. Confusion? Well, there's a lot of people from other countries that watch F-Stoppers videos and are part of they the F-Stoppers community. They don't call seniors, like there's the juniors and seniors in high school? I don't or? know, but they thought it was senior citizens. And so there was a lot of confusion. So oh. for the next critique, we are going to be critiquing images of senior citizens. Old people over what age? 60? 60, okay. 65, And we want these to be great looking images. I don't know what type of images they're gonna be, but we want them to be uh, awesome images. Portfolio that worthy images, portfolio. as always. Yeah, so um, if you would like, you can go to fstoppers.com slash contest. You can see this contest, previous contest, all the submissions, and you can see the new one on Senior Citizens, and you can upload your Senior Citizen photography right now. You can also go to the link below and check out the ongoing post where if you've ever been on the Critique the Community and we've been wildly wrong, or you've taken an image where it's really unique and you want to share more detail than what we did on the episode, go to the link below, you can tell us your story, and then in a future episode we'll have some old images from the past. Yeah, like all the most interesting images and how they were created. We're going to do a video just on that. Are you ready to rate the highest rated image from the community? This is from Alex Cook. Alex Cook is one of our writers who's a big horse fan. I am, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Four stars, uh, we agree. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is Yeah, this uh, is great. It's awesome. so classy and different and unique and timeless. Like, I think that's probably the biggest thing we're gonna run into with most of these images is how timeless are they? And maybe cheesy senior portraits are timeless because that's what they always look like. That's what people want but to But this share. is almost like fine art or something. This is like an image you could print and have on your wall forever. Yeah. Now, in case you guys don't know, if you haven't been keeping up with us, the reason why we're critiquing uh, senior portrait photography is because we recently did a competition with uh, myself versus Patrick versus Pai Joseph from SLR Lounge. And my photograph, which was a classic portrait, yeah. You guys said looked like a senior portrait. And I've learned that many other people have said that as well. It's not just us. I agree, but you know, I don't look down my nose at senior portrait photographers. Obviously, they can be incredible like this one here. Just to expand on this picture a little bit more, I love the symmetry in the eyes, and I love, I keep going to the bottom right, I love the light that's highlighting her hand. I think just like having detail down there in the bottom corner is just like a nice little touch. It I just mean, that's that's an interesting. I mean, if it was black down there, it would definitely lose something. I'm not sure that I. I mean, you said the light on her hand; you can't even see her. Well, hand. her arm there on the bottom but right hand side of the corner. You're right. If it went pure black there, I think you'd you'd certainly be missing something. The one thing I keep thinking about is like the line going through the middle of the frame. Um, I don't know if I would like it more or less there, or a texture above it. I'm just kind of saying stuff just to say stuff, but that one line I keep going to, but it does hit in a nice part of the, the frame. Well, congratulations, you have the highest rated image. You have won a free tutorial from fstoppers.com slash store. Send me a private message on fstoppers and I will make sure, oh, make sure you tell me what tutorial you want. I'll make sure you get it. Um, 3.45. 3.45, right. next up. If you're new to the uh, F-Stoppers Critique series, one is a snapshot. Anybody with any camera without any thought could take this image. Two, needs work before it hits your portfolio. Three is a solid image for your portfolio. You could be making money with this level of photography right now. Four is excellent. That's what we just rated the last image. Five is world class. We rarely see those, but occasionally we do. I think I'm ready. Let's go. Three, two, one. You're going four? So I'm going four within the genre of senior portraits, right? Well, I, mean, I went three within the genre of senior okay. portraits. Okay. I mean, I, I'm rating it a little bit leniently because, you know, we're not working with professional models here. We don't have insane budgets and all And you got to think who your client is. Right. I it's think that's something people person. really get upset with our critiques is they're like, can you do better? And it's like, well, maybe that's not the client that I'm trying to get, you know, or I don't have a portfolio catered towards that type of client. 
I don't know what you're saying right now. I'm just saying a lot of people are like, how dare you critique these so rough when you yourself don't have great senior portrait images, you know? Obviously, I do. Well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you have better senior portrait. Well, there wasn't a senior portrait contest. Well, My point is just that this type of image is much better in the genre than the majority of senior portrait type images that I see. But giving it a three... Just, it's not blowing, this isn't blowing my mind. No, it's certainly not blowing my mind I guess mind I don't know the context. Like, is this something that your town would know? Or is this something special to him? Or is this something that down the road you're going to be like, man, why did I hold the sign and... What is your point? I don't know. I just don't think this is as classy as the last image. This isn't well, something... That's absolutely true. You're not going to hang this on your wall years down the road, where the first one, I think, is a great example of, like, if I was trying to do high-end senior portraits, I would try to do more of that. But okay. I think, I think maybe your, your problem is that I gave both of these images four stars when there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that the first image is far superior to the second. Why do you like this one so much? Like, So I just feel like the lighting looks good. We've got an interesting pose. The guy's not looking directly into the camera with a goofy face. Like That's what most senior portraits die by. And uh, I just feel like, as my image, it's just a good classic portrait. I don't know. It just It's just a solid senior portrait. I've seen so many bad senior portraits. This one's solid. It's a little bit unique, and that's why I gave it four stars. But um, maybe maybe three is right. Maybe three is right. But um, I, I keep looking good. at his hands, and obviously this is real because it's reflecting in his glasses. But there's something around his fingers that make this thing feel like it's not really. He's not really holding it, but I don't know if that's just an optical illusion. My so eye keeps going to it. It's my not eye keeps going to that as well, especially on the right side. You can really see it, and I'm wondering if this sign was reflecting the light back into the camera a lot and then they had to go in and darken the sign and they just did a lazy job around the fingers or the opposite happened and his hands were super dark. I mean, if you notice how quickly the light falls off under the sign on his body, yeah. maybe then they tried to lighten up his hands and they got lazy that way, but yeah, you're right. All right, I'm changing, I'm changing my number. Three stars it is. 3.17. Next. And I have oh. to apologize for number two because we didn't pick the random winner. And okay. number two can't be that winner. So pick a number between three and how many are we doing today? Fifteen. Fifteen. All yeah. right. So three and fifteen. Three. So the next image. Yeah. I'd rather no just No surprises it over with. today. I just I forget and then we have to go back and refilm it. And so let's just knock it out. This is the next winner. Congratulations. Pick out a free tutorial on fstoppers.com slash store. Send me a private message on fstoppers. Let me know which one you want. I'll send it to you. Are you ready? Um. I think I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Three stars. Um. This looks like a photograph that I've taken a bunch of times. This looks so... Just... I was thinking this looks like a girl I graduated with. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I, I I take pictures like this all the time. You saw me do it in the competition where I'm backing up really far. I'm zooming in with the 70 to 200. I'm shooting style, at 2.8. Yeah. I've got the the soft soft box coming in from the side, and I've I've taken senior portraits before, and I've taken portraits of college and high school kids before around Charleston. And the college there has areas that look just like this. So, so this is a tried and true method you could do to make money shooting portraits. Absolutely. Portraits. Um, I, th I think it's a great shot. Um, maybe maybe a little cheesy. Um, but I think my biggest problem is that it just feels a little overexposed. Just, the you know, like a third of a stop. Yeah. Just on her. I feel like the background looks great. Yeah, it's definitely something you could fix in post. You just pull it down just the slightest little bit. That's my main critique as well. I mean, I feel like the light on her is really nice. The pose is very simple. Um, like you said, so many of these type of images can fail because of the expression and because of what they're doing. Like they're posing next to their, their you know, Mustang, you know, or by a brick wall, and it just looks super cheesy. But this doesn't really feel that cheesy. I mean, you could style this even more. You could have her holding books or something like she actually is graduating or something. I don't, I don't know. Well, Some I, other prop. 
I think it might feel a little cheesy just because you got the cap and the gown, but then she's got the super sexy legs and shoes peeking out of the cap and gown. But Is maybe that how this, you read this? Maybe that's what... Super sexy. It's just a girl showing her legs off. Yeah, but maybe the way she's showing the legs off. I don't know. Like, she looks good, but it just feels... If I was her dad, I would feel really good that, wow, the photographer delivered an image that we would print the size of this iPad and put in our house and be happy with. And for me, that would be my main concern. Is this an image I even want to pay for? Because there's so much cheesy I see. senior portraits. You're absolutely right. So all that being said, I just think, I think this is a solid picture. Like I, as a parent, would be happy with this as a final product. I would pay for this. Yeah. And I feel like you got really good light. They did a really good job. If this is shot with a strobe of matching the direction of the light with the background and the flowers, like, there's nothing here that stands out where I'm like, ooh, that's like, you should have done something else here. I, I really like this image. Next up, another horse shot. 3.12 on that one. <clears throat> now, which one of these two is less cheesy? This one with the horse. I think any time I think any time you're standing by yourself looking into the camera, there's going to be a little bit more cheese factor to it, right? Really? I mean, I don't know. I feel like I I think when people are dressed in a way that they're not normally dressed, that adds to the cheese factor. Yeah, but it's that's what <clears throat> senior portraits are. That's is one half. That's one half of it. One half is you wearing the gown, and the other half is you doing your activity that you normally do. Well, when I see this next horse shot, this just feels like a very genuine picture. It could be a great portrait. It transcends whether or not. Yeah. genres. I yeah, understand. senior portrait photography. As yeah. did the first one. I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we agree then. We agree. So quit arguing about right. it. Three, two, one. I thought that's what this show was about, was arguing. <laughs> I'm in between a three and a four. I like, once again, the first picture is my favorite, but I feel like this is so good. And I, the lighting's amazing, incredible pose, great composition, lighting's beautiful, great black and white conversion. I really like everything about this. You know, <clears throat> what do you think about um, in terms of composition? Is this a square crop? It's near square. I can't tell. If it does it's... seem near square, which is a little strange. It doesn't seem it's like it is for square. The Instagrams. Maybe. But um, if, if I zoom in just a little bit, that little bit of dead space that's on the left side of the picture by the horse doesn't seem that necessary. And it seems like if you zoom in a little bit and just kind of yeah. show the horse's head and the girl a little bit more, I feel like that's a stronger composition. But it looks great either way to me. It also thins out the horse a little bit. He's kind of got like a big rear end in the top right hand side. Yes, his rear end. Um, one thing that's interesting about this composition um, from the photographer's standpoint is that they're up high shooting down. Sometimes shooting down is a classic senior portrait move that rarely looks good. Yeah. But I like this perspective, you know. I think it it lets her fit into the horse's body more and it kind of, you know, it doesn't make the horse like tower over her. Yeah. And you know, I don't know how tall this horse is, but sometimes, you know, horses are significantly taller than your subject well great job community gives it 3.09 now before we get too much further we know that the real reason why anyone's watching this video is because they want to know what has happened at subway and in case this is the first time you're watching the critique in a while <clears throat> I have been having an issue with the local Subway sandwich store here. They have this uh, combo, and uh, to get the combo, you have to get the chicken or the turkey sandwich. I'm a vegetarian, so I say just give me the chicken sandwich, but don't put the chicken on there. And the manager does not want to give me the discounted combo. Because you're ordering a sandwich that's not part of the combo. Yeah, and she's like forcing me to take the chicken. Yeah. And she says, like, I can throw the chicken away, but, but she's putting put it, on. it on the bread, you know? Does this feel at all like we're kicking a dead horse at this point? How many of our viewers watching this video right now do not know this story? Hey, all I know 
is that every every one of the top comments is always like, "What's going?" The on? Subway Saga is the only reason why I'm watching this. The Subway Saga mm. is better than any of your critiques. So we have some insider information about it, and are you going to spill it to the audience now, or are you going to let them wait a little longer before? So the big reveal. In the last video, Pi was here, and right after the video, we went undercover to Subway. Yes, we did. And we got lots of footage and some interesting results. And I I was telling you and Pi, like, I think this is good enough and funny enough that it could be its own separate video. I would obviously have to refilm like the intro and kind of get everyone on board with what's right. going on. But it's not photography related at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. And uh I feel a little bad doing that, like made, making you guys wait even longer to know what happened. So why don't we just play the tape now, and then later if I decide to make this its own separate Subway video, I can. They need to tell us in the comments if this should be a standalone video. Yeah, you let us know. So here's here's what we discovered. Are you just going can you see it? Tape? Yeah. yeah, do you want to tape it if more? That if that falls, we're all oh, going man. to jail. We're going to prison for this? Yeah. I feel like we're about to get caught. I can't be seen in there. If you go in there and ask for this, they're going to know I put you up to it. They're going to be looking outside. I'm going to be having to hide in my truck or something. All right, this is already not going according to plan. It's starting to rain. That's going to obstruct my view. Patrick's planning on filming with a cell phone in the subway. He's going to go in first. Here's why we're here today. The selfie combo. It's hard to read selfie. But $4.99, six inch sub, drink, cookie, and chips, or french fries. Solo $4.99. It's the deal of a lifetime, and I'm just trying to take advantage of that. Come on, Subway. Dude, you look like the most suspicious person in the world. <laughs> You're bald. Oh, Patrick's making his way in. It begins. All right, Patrick just finished up. I think Pie's up now. Um, could I do the selfie combo? Well, well, on uh, wheat. Um, I can I do chicken, but I, I I'm kind of a, I'm a vegetarian, so is it okay just no chicken? Okay. Um, no cheese or you want cheese? With cheese. Okay. It can be any of them. No way. Okay. No so way. it's the same. It's the same chicken price. What's going on? There's no on? chicken, right? Okay. I don't know if this is what I wanted to happen or not. All right. Uh, they just like your face. She well, the, she told me. She's like, I just didn't like that face. <laughs> the other thing that I noticed, you just paid with credit card for less than $10. <laughs> yep. They've never let me do that before. Yep. Proof would be for you to go in right now yeah. and order with the same, the same staff. sandwich. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do people do this? Like this whole, do this whole video is worth just this moment to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got some tape for Ew, you. Ew, man, I don't want to use that. You can't let the, the mic fall down. So I'm going in. I'm going to try to get the same selfie combo that Pi just did from the same lady. <sighs> um, I'm a vegetarian. If I have to have the chicken on it, I will. It's yeah, been... Oh, I don't have to. Okay, great. What is the world coming to? <sighs> The woman was super reasonable. She was like, yeah, of course. Why do I have to put the chicken on there? You know, she just had that attitude. Like, yeah, you can, of course. We make custom sandwiches, no problem. The manager who has been the most militant about me having to have the chicken, she was in there, but she wasn't paying attention. She was like doing something on the register and then she moved to the back. So she wasn't a part of any of them. So as of right now, Subway's, Subway's been great today, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this once and for all. I don't know if these were the results that I wanted. If Pi would have said, can I have the chicken sandwich without the chicken, and they, and they said no. Him. Oh, okay. Then what? Then what's the video about? It's just the, the craziness of the situation. <laughs> there would have to be like a people's movement and a hashtag would have to be made. Yeah. And we would have to uprise and be like, well, I, vegetarians for all or something. I was thinking hashtag Subway Justice yeah. would be this next video, but I feel like... The justice has already occurred. I feel like 
it may not be a subway issue. It may just be this manager. Yeah. And I thought it could be really funny to make a video that's completely standalone, separate from F Stoppers, and just this funny video where we demand a response from Subway so that this manager will know that she's either doing the right thing or she's doing the wrong thing, and we can all be on the same page. I haven't decided if I'm going to do this. Let me know in the comments if I should continue this or if I'm wasting You're my gonna life. You're going to get her fired, and then it's going to be <laughs> such a mess. Get her fired because she makes me have the chicken. All right. <laughs> Moving on back to senior portraits. Yeah. <clears throat> this is one, like, culturally, I don't, I mean, I'm just, I almost just have to rate this as a portrait because I don't know. I guess it's kind of like the last one. There's no context as to yeah. what is going on in terms of graduation or how old the person is, so. Does it look like they have added fake curtains to the background? The depth of field doesn't make any sense. It's like super sharp. Yeah. But then the portrait itself looks like it's shot wide open or something. Yeah, you can see your hands out of focus. You can see the veil on the sides is out of focus. But then we have sharp curtains in the background. Very strange. Are you ready? And also very like... Uh, the perspective looks off. Yeah, it looks like they're too thin. Yeah, it's like a wide angle curtain shot on a telephoto. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. <clears throat> I don't think any of that really bothers me. No, I didn't know that's until super right now. nitpicky. Um, I'm looking at like the top left of her forehead, and it almost looks like there's like clone marks or something. Maybe that's just skin imperfection, or it gets tricky when you start going down. How far do you retouch? I actually have a video coming out soon about this, but. You don't want to retouch people's faces too much, but there's there's some stuff going on with the skin that, like, for your portfolio, I don't know if, if the light's just a little hot or if she's a little shiny, but ultimately, I, I do like this image. I feel like... I feel like her family would be happy with this, right? Yeah, I think it's a beautiful image, lit well, great expression. Normally, I'm the shallow depth of field king. I love shallow depth of field. I feel like this image doesn't really call for it, though. I think I'd like this to be a deep depth of field, and I'd like to see everything With all the jewelry focus. and all the yeah. detail and the fabric and everything. But well done. Community gives it uh, 3.06. All right. We're getting closer to back, back to your neck of the woods. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of woods, what are you wearing? This is my wooded shirt. Where did you buy that and why? I got this at H&M. This was like $10, oh, okay. and I was like, I saw it, and I was like, how could I not get it? All right. I understand. $10. Sure. I mean, yeah, I love this shirt. I just, sometimes I don't feel confident enough to wear it out, mm -hmm. but yet I'm confident enough to wear it in front of more people than I would see being out, so. Follow your gut. Yeah, no. Don't be confident. Maybe one day I'll do a portrait in this. Please don't. I'll make you shoot it. I won't. All right, I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three. Yeah. I think um, this looks pretty good. It feels a little overexposed. I'm trying to decide, does she feel overexposed or does she feel overexposed because the background is so overexposed? I feel like she, and this is, I don't, this is like a personal preference. I feel like she's lacking contrast. Hmm. And I know you could decrease the, uh, the contrast to give it a look. I personally, for an image this bright and vibrant and with the blown out background, I think I would like, at least on her, the contrast to be bumped up a little bit. But right. I see what you're saying. Like if the background was more within like the correct exposure, maybe she would look fine. But you're shooting with strobe here, so why not make that artistic decision in camera? Why not bring down the exposure just a little bit? Well, you know, Unless your your flash is at full power. Yeah, or they might have been maxed out, and uh, they might have wanted shallowed up the field as well. So, the one thing that bums me out is just the fence looks kind of like. It does look a little junky, doesn't it? It's just a simple fence that just took some. Now, <clears throat> I am not one of these skin tone photographers. You know these photographers that we can't know. stop talking about skin tones and We've how... seen your uh, your video on getting accurate color on monitors. We all know about your lack of interest in skin tones. Yeah, I just don't care. I think it's all ridiculous. But this one. But this one doesn't feel right at all. This feels like this 
pinkish tone that doesn't seem human. Yep. But the color of the green does feel accurate. So if you're gonna put a wacky color grade on an image and the whole image is whacked out, I get it, you know? It makes sense. But it kind of feels like just the color grade is on the girl. I don't think that's what's going on, but that's the way it feels. Well, you know, this used to happen to me when I shot weddings. Back before, you know, we had pro photo gear and stuff, a lot of it just wasn't easy to carry around. But they had the, uh, the Palsy Buff lights yeah and they had that battery pack the vagabond yeah. and i always noticed on certain ones it was like the alien b 800 or something i would get a flash color that was right in the white balance but it would always feel like the hue was pushed a little more towards the magenta, the magenta. <clears throat> now i'm not ballsy enough to say this was shot with an alien b but oh, that I would have, be crazy i have seen that color shift a little bit to where it was you know something i'd have to edit and post which would then make the greens go more green. I actually remember with that Alien Bee that you owned, not being able to edit it and get a color that I was happy with. And I'm not a pixel peeper, I don't care. But I remember we would shoot in shade like this with the Alien Bee, and then it would create these weird magenta tones on people. Yeah, that's And I'm exactly. like, I can't get that out. It was I would like, always have to move it more to the greens, but then it would make any green color cast from the shade. Yeah. Accentuated too. It's a really strange I don't thing. Um, one more thing I want to note: her pose and everything is like half good, but it it feels a little uncomfortable. You know, I, I feel like her right arm hanging like that could be a lot more relaxed if she put her elbow up on the thing. Maybe um, I really like her pose. If anything, like it's. I mean, her and her f facial expression, it just, it doesn't feel like a genuine picture. It feels like a, hey, lean up against that and smile real quick. Okay, let's move on to something else. Yeah. All right, community gives it 2.97. Now, this picture looks very similar. I think we had one in the last critique where this couple was on rocks and they were kissing or something, and there was a very contrasty mm. color grade on that image yeah. and it looks very similar to this do you think it could be the same photographer no well i mean i can't say no because many people are dying to get their images in these critiques but i see what you're saying like it has this really blue shadow look but then it looks like the highlights it's almost like they've added a, a texture on top to give more of a flare is that what, what you're you saying think? no i'm no i'm just talking about the color specifically but you might be right it looks like she's kind of being eaten by the orange flare. All right, yeah. let's rate this. All right. Let's rate it. Three, Three two, two, one. Um, yeah, maybe two's the right answer. I mean, there is some interest going on here that I like. I love the right-hand side of the frame, and the car is ambiguous enough to where it almost looks kind of classic, but the cars on the left side <laughs> are killing me, yeah. and I feel like if you really look at her, she... She looks a little out of place. I mean, I know you make her do this two or three times and you only have 20 or 30 images to pull from and half of them are horrible, but you're looking for that one frame. Maybe this is the best one, but I just <clears throat> want to crop out the left side, but then I'm cropping into her dress. Would you have shot this a little more, maybe a little more telephoto to like, remove the left car so your field of view is more narrow and you could get further away and blur out the cars so that more cars look like the ones in the background. See what I'm saying? Is this shot a little too wide to where there's no way to make that car on the left look? Yeah, the car on the left is killing it for me. Like that's the worst part as well. Community gives it 3.2. Yeah. Three, two, one. I'm doing the two star here. Why? I'm torn on whether or not, like I don't want to tell anybody how you should shoot your portraits because maybe this style, this fashion style would be a huge money maker and you'd be like the one guy doing it and it's like the greatest business decision you can make. But I just feel like this almost doesn't feel like it falls in that genre. And then the biggest thing for me is her hands and her expression stuff. She just seems kind of stiff and uncomfortable here. I think I could easily be persuaded to be a three, maybe even a four, if she just looked more comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of still internally struggling with, is this too fashion-oriented 
to be a senior portrait. And I guess that really depends on what the market, you know, requires. Like, if you could do this, you'd be the guy. Like, I love the idea of doing something outside the box, and you're the only person doing it. And who am I to say you shouldn't do that? But this just doesn't really feel like a senior portrait. I agree. I'm trying to not rate it based on that, and I'm trying to just rate this, you know, as a as a portrait. And I love <clears throat> the lighting. And uh, you know, you've got that that teal tone on the right like side. The green and the, fill that's kind of coming up. Really nice. Um, she, something about her just feels like a robot or something to me. You know, the pose, uh, the hands and the arms are a little strange, but then, you know, just so much deadness in her face. I don't know. I, I still like it, but something about it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable too. I'm kind of at a hands, loss for words here, but... Hands near the face and neck and stuff are always very difficult. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know. If, if, you, if you can be the guy doing this sort of thing, like you said, that's awesome. I feel like this is better than most senior portraits I've seen. And if, if this girl's not a professional model, then, you know, you can only expect so much. Very good. True points. Community, 2.97. Next... Let's go. Three, two, one. Three stars. I think for me, maybe the way it's presented here, there's just so much dead space, and I'm trying to figure out if I like. It's like the left side of the frame. I don't know that I like this darkening contrast that's coming in. I almost want it to have more of this soft contrast throughout. Does that not bother you? You probably didn't even notice that. Say it again. I just feel like the contrast in the middle of this picture is all super soft and none of the blacks are crushed. Right. But then as you move out, I almost want that tone to still be the same. It looks like they just did a layer mask and gave it this dark look and then took the paintbrush and just plopped it in on the middle, almost like a vignette. And I feel like yeah, I mean, I that's exactly what they did. I mean, you can see the the paintbrush marks. <laughs> you can see the cir circular lines. You know. Hmm. It's also just like uh, this feels more like fine art. And I'm trying to figure out what the photographer is trying to say. Like, if you had to go and do this on every portrait, if every one of your clients was like, "I love this," and it's just kind of weird. It's almost somber and sad, and it. I don't know, it's, it's evoking a strange feeling to me. Yeah, it feels like death or something. Yeah, it doesn't feel mm -hmm. like what I would think of with senior portraits. And again, it's influencing me in a way that I don't know if that's fair or not. But the best senior portrait photographers are the ones who speak with the client and then come up with a very specific photo shoot. And if that's what they wanted, then my goodness, you've, you yeah. did exactly what they wanted and delivered more than what they expected. And Yeah, but you're right. If, if, if you were a senior portrait photographer and you put this on your website as like one of the shoot ideas, that's a little strange, right? Yeah, but I mean, if it's in a portfolio of a bunch of shoot ideas and you say like, oh my gosh, this stands out and is really cool. I think if you had only this, I just think your clientele would be narrowed down to a much smaller amount of people. Very yeah, few the, people would say, I want that. I know. But in a wider portfolio, they may say, oh, that's cool. It's not for me, but. Right. All right, community gives it 2.87. It is a pretty photo, though. I don't want to say that it's not. Everyone heard you say it's not. That's all they heard. All right, are you ready? I'm ready to disappoint. Three, two, one. Just three stars. Boring old three. So but when I, really I first this. saw this, I was the one who picked out the images for this critique. I thought this was my favorite shot. But as I'm sitting here looking at it, it's, it's losing a little bit for me. I think my biggest critique is maybe to do with the white balance. It just feels so yellow. And if you want that old timey rustic feel, I'm all about it. But I don't know that I want it to be yellow. I just want it to be desaturated a little bit. And then my other critique that I didn't really notice before, but as I'm looking now, is just 
all the stuff that's in this image, especially the hello sign on the right, it just kind of feels a little strange. And at the beginning, I felt like, wow, what an incredibly designed set. But now I just feel like, oh, you would, you just went to a you know, flea market yeah. and you just sat down and took the shot. And the hello sign kind of pulls me out of it. Yeah, but it's still pretty cool for what it is. Because I can sit here and say, oh, I don't like whatever this is, the aloe plant going through the statue. And I feel like the <clears throat> picture frame behind her head, maybe you could have put that down. But then if you put it down, it's going to leave a big, like, bright square behind her head. There's, like, little things I can constantly point out that I'm not really excited about. But at the same time, I think this is just really cool. I think... I think the color is off a little bit to me, but I love the ropes on the left, like all the texture. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just something very different. It's very innocent. It feels like she's being her age, where some of the other pictures, it's like they're trying to be older. And I think that's kind of what I like about a senior portrait is it captures you and it captures you while you're at that age, mm. but you're not trying to be something you're not, or you're, you're, you're embracing that time in your life, you know? And I feel like this girl looks like that. I think the lighting on her is really nice. I think her expression and pose is really nice. Probably could tone down the lighting on her arm and shoulder. Yes, now that I see, yeah, that is a little warm, but I don't know. I think this image is salvageable. I think if you could just tweak the white balance a little bit more. I mean, I said it's a three. It belongs in your portfolio, but I think you're right. You could make the, the color a little bit better, but. Community gives it 3.22. All right, are you ready? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Three stars. Solid image. Um, like, are senior <clears throat> portraits becoming, they have this much, what's the word I'm looking for, like thought behind them or concept behind them? I mean, when you start getting into this, like the girl in the water with the flowers yeah. and somebody holding flowers at night over the city with the moonlight lighting them or that type of feel, it's just kind of, it's kind of a strange, from my perspective, it seems strange. Maybe from her perspective, it's like, hey, I'm a creative person. I want to do something really fun. I got a photographer who will go out and come up with this concept if she was involved in that process. Maybe this is totally a projection of the photographer's thoughts and ideas. Hey, I want to do this thing out at night. But it just doesn't feel like a senior portrait again. And I guess I keep going back to that concept in this critique if you were a parent and this picture popped up in the photographer's feed, would you be like, that's what we need? Or would you say this is a little strange? Or well, how would I, it make you I feel? Have, I, I, I want to pivot from that question and just ask, at what point is it acceptable to show women's underwear? Obviously, if she was in a bikini right now, it would be totally normal. If she was in a bikini and she had a towel and it was opened up and you could see into the towel and you could see that she was a bikini, that would be totally socially acceptable. I understand there's no difference between the underwear and the bikini, but... For some girls there is. How many girls do you know who are like, I'll be seen in a bikini, but... No, they all act like yeah, that. Yeah, it doesn't no, make I'm any sense to physically there's right. no difference. Right. But socially, there is a difference. Yeah. And so my question is, is this normal... To have a 16-year-old girl for well, her she could senior be portrait. 17, she could be 18. But, leg but legally, there's a difference there. Like, if she's 18, it doesn't make any sense. But somehow, legally, if she's 18, it's like she falls on this side of the coin. Yeah. But if she's underage, it totally makes it weird, right? I don't know. That's my question. I'm genuinely asking. I'm not saying it's weird. I'm just asking. Like, I live at the beach. I see people in bathing suits every single day and it looks exactly like this so physically speaking it's the exact same but when you're thinking about a classic picture of this girl that is going to represent her as a senior in high school yeah. do you want the one where you see up the dress maybe you do and you could say like oh this is part of the style of the dress or something i don't know but i thought about that well, i was thinking that too like could you just if this was the best shot somehow i mean it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on in this frame but if this was the only shot you had, could you just clone and hide? So easily. You would just lower the lower the dress just a little bit on the left side. You know, just bring that down. 
Um, that would be super simple to do. Um, the other thing, you know, and it's just a stylized image, but you know, we've got the shallow depth of field background with the sharp stars <laughs> in the sky. Did you notice that? Oh yeah, okay. So we got like the fake sky going on back there, but I do like this image. You know, for senior portrait, I don't know. It kind of feels like Close Encounters of the Third kind. Like she's, you know, she's even got like a green hue on her. Yeah. Like she's walking towards the alien spacecraft. But I, I like it. I think it's a cool looking image. How is she holding these flowers? She's she's got a bit of a claw hand going on yeah, with the flowers. It's a little strange, but I mean. I don't know. I, I like the color grade. I like a lot about this image. I just feel like it's a little strange for me for a senior portrait, and then you throw in the underwear thing and like takes it over the top. I think if I, I would be scared to deliver this to a parent, like I don't think mm. I, I wouldn't deliver that. Version, That's a good point. Let alone then put it in my portfolio, even though I just rated this as a three. Mm. I don't know, but that's me. People take riskier moves with their business than I might. But. Community, 2.79. Are you ready? I think so. Three, two, one. I'm between a two and a three. <sighs> I know, it pains me because I appreciate all the work that went into this. But um, I look at this as like an editorial sports image and i know that's not what this is but it's so closely related and i just think i want her to be laughing or to mm -hmm. be like in ecstasy that like we're in this awesome photo shoot and i'm a badass volleyball player and like i'm in my element but instead her expression is like this is so awkward yeah she she out of all the I pictures i don't want to be here this girl feels the most uncomfortable um the other thing and sometimes, uh, you know, when, when you see a human face sideways or upside down, it's very difficult for you to register lighting and, like, w things might look good one way but not another or yeah, something yeah. might make you feel uncomfortable. If you turn this vertically so that you can actually see her face, uh, you know, normally, straight up and down, first of all, you just can see how uncomfortable she looks. But... Also, look at how poor the lighting is. It's like we have 45, 45 degree lighting coming upward on her face, casting shadows upward. Yeah. And uh, I just don't think that's flattering on her anyway. And then her being so uncomfortable looks kind of bad. And then I do, I do like the fact her left hand on that ball up there, I think that looks kind of interesting. The right hand feels a little uncomfortable again and the legs feel kind of uncomfortable again, but you're right. If she was just laughing at how goofy she felt or something, that could be so much better. And then the other thing, which I'm not sure how in the world you would fix, but the balls just seem so dirty that it feels like a dirty, grungy, like trash shot to me. It doesn't feel like, uh, I don't know how to explain. You know, it's, Like if this was shot, for Sports Illustrated, all the balls would be brand new. I would but that think. might be unreasonable to do. Absolutely. But so, that's you the know, difference if, if, between the $500 guy and the $5,000 senior portrait guy. Yeah, but we're always talking about senior portraits, and I feel like there's a cap on how... I agree. It's like, they say, let's, let's do this idea. We're going to take all the balls in the gym, and we're going to do this shot. Like, well, what are you left with? You have to show the dirty balls. I just wonder if you could put a color grade or something on this that would make it feel a little more interesting, like a, a purple or a blue or something that would, I don't know, I can't get past the expression. It just feels like she's so dead and bored. Well, the community dis disagrees. They rated this 3.25. It was one of the highest rated images. I find this image to be very captivating. <laughs> I have looked at this image multiple times and there's just I mean, obviously, she's a beautiful girl, but the fact that she's got the sexy makeup and hair and everything, but then she's in the skimpy outfit, and then she's got the cleats on, it's just like, there's a lot of strangeness going on that I find very interesting, and it's done super well. Yeah. I think the lighting's great, the location's great. It almost feels like... Uh, 
this would be in a movie or something, like a Mean Girls movie or something, where <laughs> you know this is like the villain who's the track star that's trying to shut down the the star of the the movie from making the team or so. I don't know what it would be, but yeah. um, I do really like it. Do you want to rate it? Sure. <clears throat> Three, two, one. I'm going four stars. I can go f four, two. I mean, we've got really interesting hard light. I mean, I wonder if this was just shot with a single bare bulb strobe. Very rarely would I take pictures like that. Um, and then, you know, there's that highlight on her shoulders as well. Is that a hair light or is that natural sunlight? I do not know. It's strange because I don't see that highlight anywhere else in the frame. It's almost like they had an assistant standing up there and then they did the two shot mm. where they clone them out. Interesting. But it's very you would also, But you would also think, like, look at that uh, highlight on her shoulder. It's super bright. And you would expect there to be some shadow being cast towards the camera by her feet, but I just don't see that. I mean, there's there. a little soft shadow there, but I love this symmetry. I almost feel like she could have just a little bit more space to stand on, too. Like, the bottom could be a little less tight. See what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's a really cool picture. Community gives it 2.76. How do you think this was lit? I think there's definitely a strobe somewhere off camera right that's hitting her dead on. Because the shadows should be coming straight down from the lamp and casting probably really ugly shadows. But if you zoom into her hair and her nose, you just see that there's like really sharp shadows that are kind of going like and you can also see it like look at her chest casting the shadow on her right arm that's holding the lampshade yeah. and look at the lamp i mean the, sh the whole tower of the the lamp has that highlight running all the way straight up and down mm -hmm. so there's definitely some kind of strobe off to the right but what they've done well is it's kind of it's not the same direction but it's mimicked it enough to where you could think that the lights above are lighting her right the average person would feel that way. Well, what's confusing me is it appears that the light, you know, if, if you look at her outstretched arm, it appears, appears like she's being lit from above yeah. and down. Yeah. But I'm like, how in the world are they going to get a, a light up there? And then when you look at her chest casting the light on the camera left arm, it appears like the light's coming in from camera right. But then if you look at her hand holding the post there's lighting there's light hitting the top of her finger which and there's shadows being cast towards the bottom right of the frame as well so it's almost like there's two lights off camera really high firing down on her you can also see it on the side of her Dress. torso there's uh there's a little highlight on the opposite side as well so but I don't then know. there's no highlight on the the lamp post on the left side. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so what the heck? Yeah, if you zoom into her outstretched hand, you said it looks like she's being lit from above and down, but then look at her fingers. You can clearly see yeah. the highlight, or the shadow from the light just off camera right. I wonder how much light the lamp is actually producing, if, it, if it's doing anything to light her. Well, this is a tricky situation because you're faced with, like, two different exposures. You're trying to expose for the building in the background, but the lamp could be way brighter or darker than that building, you know. Yeah. So it's not an easy shot to expose. But Well, this was also one of the higher rated images at 3.3. You know, we haven't even rated this yet. Did we not? We didn't rate it, no. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three stars. I, I like it okay. I don't, I don't know if I would put this on my website. Um... I don't know. Maybe is it I the would. pose? Like the outstretched yeah, the pose hand weird. is it's, a little it's strange. It's kind of weird to me. But it, there's something here, right? She could have both hands around the post or be spinning or doing something that didn't feel so Superman. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what I'm trying to say here, but. I don't know. Let's move on to the final shot. Okay, so this guy has been featured already. 
and I'm going to guess, just because I noticed the watermark, I'm uh -huh. going to guess he's the guy who did the picture where I said the girl looked too fashion-y. Oh, you're absolutely right. Look at, the, look at that. I've been a detective lately. Yeah. So I've noticed little details. Let's um, rate it. Three, two, one. Four, three, four. I'm, I went four. I Again, mean, I feel I, like this image is incredible. That's why I'm bumping it up a little bit. I still think this is incredibly strange for a senior portrait, but it's still a beautiful image. And I just feel like who, who are we to say what is strange for a senior portrait if... If you can create high-end complex imagery like this and get people to pay for it, they're going to pay a premium for this because this is unlike any senior portrait I've seen before. And the truth is, I mean, in the comments of this critique, a lot of people just said, does it have to be a senior portrait or can it just be a portrait of somebody within this age range? And I was like, yeah, sure, who cares? Yeah. So maybe this isn't for this girl's parents to remember her senior year of high school. Maybe this is her album cover or something. I don't know. but Well, it brings up an interesting marketing idea is if you have no senior portrait portfolio and you want to throw out a business out there into the worldwide web or your community or whatever, and you can get girls that age and guys. I mean, we didn't see many guys in this at all, did we? Mm. Was there one? <laughs> yeah, the second, the second one. Okay, and I don't know if that's your bias towards picking women or if there was just very few men submitted. They're just... Uh, I would imagine most guys probably have less of an interest. Like, I didn't want to take senior portraits, right. but your parents probably made you. But anyway, my point is just if you don't have a portfolio and you start creating imagery like this and you market it as this is something you could do for senior portraits, yeah, maybe you could have this really unique thing and... Uh, I know there was a photographer in the South Carolina area that did beauty pageants. I think he was out of Myrtle Beach, and he just did these really fashion-oriented portraits of beauty contestants or whatever, and he became the guy. Like, everybody went to his studio because he was the only one doing it, and then everyone else would try to copy him, and they looked like the copy. So, all that being said, I think it is kind of an interesting idea to do something that we might not think is a normal senior portrait, but it very easily could then become your thing. And I will mention this uh, as well. When it comes to weddings and senior portraits, sometimes you have to create the style that you want. And then the second it starts infiltrating the market, everyone will want it because their friend already had it, right? Yeah. How many weddings have you shot for somebody's friend because you already shot somebody else's wedding the year before yeah, and they were lot. bridesmaid or whatever. And people are even... It becomes this weird social status, yeah. especially if you charge a lot. Yeah. If Karen had this picture taken and then they look, somebody else looks up their portfolio and he charged $1,500? Yeah. Well, even if we don't go with him, we probably should spend $1,500 because we can't let Karen outspend yeah. us, it's, you know? It's, it's a weird psychological thing that can happen there. Yeah, like how much are photos supposed to cost? Oh, you did spend twenty five hundred. Oh, okay, I that sounded like a lot, but I guess it's not. And so the second you can get, you know, especially the the trendsetter people in high school to pay the money, then people who look up to them are going to want it, and that's how you get the foothold in the industry. And then you can start really setting standards of pricing or stylistic photography like this. And well, with that, let's wrap this up. You can head over to fstoppers.com/contests to always see any contests or critiques that we currently have running. Head over to fstoppers.com slash store to check out our full-length photography tutorials. And head over to fstoppers.com to check out our daily free content. You ready to get mic'd up and go back to Subway? Yeah. We still I, have time, right? <laughs> Not today, but I will okay. soon. Okay. <laughs>